Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBRO Labs. For more information and for downloading the source code of this program, you can log on to www.jcbrolabs.org. In this video, we will learn how to solve differential equation in Simulink. So, open MATLAB, type Simulink, and start a new block. And let's uh, take an example. So suppose uh, this is our mathematical equation or our differential equation, one dimensional differential equation whose initial conditions are given there and we need to solve uh, this particular equation in MATLAB. Obviously in terms of the waveform like uh, how the equation will behave uh, in real time. So, First of all, we need to rearrange this equation in such a manner uh, so that the higher order differential term should be left hand side and all the remaining parts should be right hand side so that it will be easy for us to, uh, to implement the blocks related to integrating of these terms uh, in similar. So if there is any mathematical expression, so we can write it like uh, like in the previous equation the highest order derivative term was uh, d2y upon dt square so we'll put d2y upon dt square one side and the remaining term to the other side same thing we will do for if it is of uh, suppose of the power 4 then we'll put d4y upon dt to, and dt to the power 4 one side and all the remaining term to the other side now we can implement it like uh, we need to uh, integrate this term twice so that it will give us y so for integrating uh, we have an integrator in simulink so let's search for integrator uh, this is given by 1 by s so we need two blocks of this The output will be y and we are integrating the constant terms. So for adding a constant we need a constant to be added there. So we will go to commonly used blocks and then a constant. Uh, let's increase the size of this one so it become easier to visualize now we need to add uh, we need to subtract two outputs uh, from this constant term so we will add this one sum so this one will be added and it has only two points right now so we could have one minus minus and now it has three terminals there and the output oops. and if we see it is getting uh, this is y it is being integrated by minus 5 we need to this is going directly now we will add these constant terms minus 2 and minus 5 so for adding these two constant terms we need a gain block and here it is and let's flip it and one gain block will connect here and the another one is here and this will go there the value of this gain block will be 2 as we have already taken the minus sign there and the value of this gain block will be 5 
and this is our final output because it has to be integrated twice so and uh, this two times and uh, this has to be integrated only a single time and for visualizing the output let's connect a scope at the output so that we can see the result and let's run the system so this is the output of our simulink block diagram that is output of this differential equation uh, in waveform so it is some kind of damped system with the maximum value of 0 0.2 and uh, this is how we represent or we implement any differential equation uh, in simulink so let's take any other example uh, first let's see it Uh, let's create another file and close it let's see uh, this is a, a differential equation which needs to be solved right so and the initial conditions again uh, given are zero so let's solve it it's very simple this is only one uh, single term so we will need a single integrator there there it is and let's increase it a little bit and then we will add this sum block and because we need a source there uh, we will be adding a signal source Oh, because we have to integrate the sine wave so we will take directly the sine wave and simple and the output has to be added so this term needs to be minus 1 minus and it goes directly in feedback loop and then we need a scope simple for getting the output we can also uh, connect a display there so let's run it so it is giving the final value of the one and the scope output is this one but uh, as we are gonna to integrate this sine 10 t so we need to change the frequency uh, because uh, this is radian per second so we can write directly 10 because omega t is so omega is the radian frequency and now let's run it again uh, this is the scope so this is our final output we can increase uh, uh, we can increase the or enhance the quality of this uh, sine wave because it is like a spikes a spikes there by increasing the number of samples there so let's say we have 0 0.01 sample time and let's run it again and now it's so this is the output uh, of the differential equation uh, it is being started with zero and then it is uh, down coming to or stabilizing itself around zero value so this is how we can implement or we can solve differential equation in simulink i hope you have understand uh, how to implement it and you can also implement various other uh, differential equations as well so if you have problem you can comment on the video and please don't forget to subscribe uh, the video so that's it for this video. Thank you.